is all about a crucial IELTS skill and it's also about avoiding a very common problem in IELTS. A lot of mistakes in IELTS reading are made because candidates look for key words. You may have heard about key word advice, very dangerous advice if you don't use it properly. Let me try and explain. The idea behind keyword advice is that you look at the question for certain words which will tell you where you find the answer. I want to emphasize the word where. These words never tell you what the answer is. This is where a lot of people make mistakes. Let's look at this example here. Here is a multiple choice question. When his laboratory went up in flames, Thomas Edison did A, B, C or D. He cursed his misfortune. Bad news. Did not know what to do about the disaster. Bad news. Decided to construct a replacement facility. Build it again. Believed he was faced with an insurmountable obstacle. That may be new language for you. That means something he could not get over. An obstacle is something in your way. He couldn't get over it. Now, keyword, let's say laboratory. That's a word which we might find in the text. Names are also very often important words. They help us find where, I emphasize the word where, we might find the answer. Now, Here's a text. Thomas Edison. I see it immediately. Names are easy to see. And I don't see it up here. So in fact, we can just delete that part. It's not there. Reading on down. Edison again. So it's either this paragraph or this paragraph. No Edison down there. So now, just by using keyword strategy, we're able to see it's either in this paragraph or that paragraph. Going back up to the question, what else do we have? Oh yes, laboratory. Can we see laboratory? Here it is, lab. Now, note this, the words change sometimes. You're not always looking for the same word, sometimes a similar word. Here, laboratory, lab. So, Let's make a guess if it's somewhere around here. It could be up there, it could be down here. Now, cursed his misfortune. Oh, here we have, cursing his luck. Is that our answer? Are we going to match those words? No. This is where people make mistakes. They word match. They think keywords is the answer to everything. It isn't. What we need to do is look for meaning. Have a look at this. Rather than. This means he did not. So, even though we got the word cursor, delete. The idea is we're not word matching when we're looking for what the answer is. We're always looking for meaning, not words. Ooh. Obstacle, obstacle. Do you see here? Obstacle, obstacle. Do we think that this is going to be our answer? But also, let's read. But also, in how to recover from setbacks and push aside perceived obstacles. Ah. He knew how to get over or push aside obstacles. So even though we've got the word, don't believe anybody who tells you key words are the answer to how you get the answer. Only where, never what. This must be wrong because he did not believe he was faced with an insurmountable obstacle. What else have we got? Ooh, disaster. He did not know what to do about the disaster. 
And here, do you see, we've got disaster as well. Is this the right answer? Oh, and disaster again. It must be the right answer. But no, it's not. Look for meaning. Always read the whole question. Key advice, not keywords. Look at the whole question when you're looking for what the answer is. You can always make capital out of a disaster. He knew what to do. He saw potential for improvement from the disaster. So he knew what to do. So even though the word is there, delete. Now, we're left with C from our four options. Here's the point. C has no words from the text. Construct a replacement facility. Now we've got to think about meaning. Not words, meaning. Reading the whole question. Can we see something in the text which matches this? And before you decide on the right answer, you should always try and find something in the text which matches the question. Sometimes you have to guess, but hopefully not. Let me help you. Rebuilding plans. Construct, build. Different words, same idea. Improved lab. Well, a lab, laboratory, is a facility. So, and he started to do it. He decided to do it. So we can see this bit down here matches that bit up there, even though there are no key words. Little summary for you. This is one piece of advice which can change your IELTS reading life. Do not look for keywords, except for when you're looking for where the answer comes. Never, never, never use it to find what the answer is. Do that, you'll make mistakes. Don't do that. Listen to me, you'll get more answers correct. I can almost guarantee it.